What's up, fam? Jamil and I are over here at the Bagel Nook in Las Vegas, which is a local bagel spot, and they're known for their somewhat wild bagel creations, yes. both savory and sweet. Very mm -hmm. Instagram worthy today. Sure. Um, so we wanted to get a variety of bagels. They have like flaming hot Cheeto like flavors and bagels. They got like really sweet ones with like. Like Delight. cocoa pebbles, yeah. fruity pebble bagels, things Oreo like cookies. that. Oreo cookies. Oreo cookie bagels. Yeah. I do have to say, you. I did go inside um, and like kind of looked around. Mm -hmm. They have one that's like a tie-dye one that looked really oh, cool. Oh, that's pretty. The bagel was completely like rainbow colored. Like mm -hmm. it was tie-dye. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was really cool. So it's like funky bagel place. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. you guys, it looks really, really good. We got three different kinds of bagels today. This is going to be the only savory one we got, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. um, but it looks bomb. Oh, you guys, I can't wait to try this. I can't wait to try it too. And uh, you have the name of it? Yeah, it's called the Double Nooker. It's the ultimate triple decker breakfast sandwich with bacon, eggs, cheese, sandwich under a, it says a pork egg and cheese. I don't, so there, <laughs> there's some pork, I think it's ham. I think that's what it is. I think it's ham, yeah. It's ham, bacon, and eggs pretty much. Yes. On an egg bagel. On an egg bagel. <laughs> yes, so that looks really good. We're going to start with that one for sure. Mm. And then I'm going to show this next one. So this one I'm scared of. <laughs> this is called their Flamin' Hot Cheeto Overload, you guys. Wow. It's Flamin' Hot Cheeto Bagel with Ghost Pepper Cream Cheese yeah. and Flamin' Hot Cheetos in the middle. Yeah. You can substitute any cream cheese you want. Like, it give you suggestions. They have a Cool Ranch cream cheese we could have used, yep. jalapeno cheddar cream cheese, a blazing ranch, or bacon cheddar. But we wanted to get it authentic how it comes. Yeah. So, I'm going to have Jamil bite that first. He said this one was really hot. I'm just joking. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't ask him. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'll try it first and let you know how it is. Yeah. And then we can go from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then last but not least. I'm we got one. yeah me too so we got the blueberry crumb cake overload oh. it's a blueberry bagel with a blueberry crumb cake cream cheese with a piece of crumb cake in the middle let me tell you this is genius yeah this is genius you guys we've done That's bagels so all whether it's on video or not we've eaten bagels everywhere mm -hmm. gotten all sorts of different creative ones mm -hmm. but to have cake in the middle of a bagel? It smells good. That's genius. It is genius. And I said, oh, it smells so yeah, good. so I guess we did get two savory ones and one sweet. So, one sweet, yeah. yeah. I thought we got two sweet ones. For sure. But we got one warm one yeah. and then the other two are cold. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's. Are you ready to do this? Yes. We're going to taste test it for cool. you today. Let you know what we think of these on a scale of one to 10. I know. Oh. And if you guys are out this way, definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. Because Well, we'll let you know to check it out or not, if it's worth it. Mm. By the way, I want to also shout out, mm. um, I, obviously I don't have specifics because this was so long ago. Uh -huh. You guys, when this place opened, I think it was like a year and a half ago or so, something yeah. like that. So many people were like, you guys got to try this place yeah. and we never got around to it. Yes. So definitely shout out to everyone that suggested this place. Yeah, we got a lot of people. So yeah. we appreciate you. I know it took a while to come here, but we it are. It kind of looks like a Big Mac because they have like a middle bagel <laughs> piece in the middle here. True, yeah. So that's why I call it the double neck, because it's double decker. Okay. I'm excited. You ready to do this? Yeah, I don't even know what kind of uh, bagel this is. but That looks like an egg bagel. No, this looks like Oh, a... it's the Doritos one. Oh, it is the Doritos Not one. Not an egg bagel. It's Dorito bagel. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. Wow. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It's a really good breakfast mm -hmm. sandwich. Mmm. Mm. Another bite. Mmm. I love all the flavors in here. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Mm. Really good. I gotta say. And it's perfect. And it's perfect. Mm -hmm. For the most part. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, mm. I would say this is just, um, if you ever had a bagel a breakfast sandwich, like a really good one, this is pretty much it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's not different in a way where I'm not like tasting something that's like super unique, but I am tasting like quality, you can tell, mm -hmm. you know? Everything tastes like it's, you know, for the most part, fresh, you know? Yep. Um, and 
it just tastes really good. It goes really it's well really together. Good. My only critique for me mm -hmm. is I love cream cheese in my bagel breakfast sandwiches with the egg and the bacon. You know, mm -hmm. I like a cream cheese. So that's my only thing. That's just a preference. Some people don't. Usually, big, well, no, I shouldn't say usually. I've seen some bagel sandwiches not come with cream cheese, and some do. It really just depends. Mm -hmm. So that's my only thing. Well, nice to have a little more creaminess to this, even though there's plenty of cheese in here mm -hmm. to give that to you. Yeah. But I think the bagel's really good. It's soft. You could tell it's fresh. It was made today. Yeah. Um, it's just really good. Like, this hits. This satisfies. Exactly. Mm. And I agree with you on, um, I agree with you on the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. I do wish there was a little bit more in there. Um, no, there's none. Oh, there isn't at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what it needs for sure. But mm -hmm. also, um, for me, once again, other mm -hmm. preference things too. Um, there's a lot of ham in here, mm -hmm. which I'm not like the biggest fan of ham. I'll, you know, I'll eat, I like it, but I'm not the biggest fan. I wish there was more bacon to ham ratio. Oh, okay. Right now, it's ham to bacon, more ham to bacon, you know? And I love ham. I prefer I know. Yeah, but so. it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's great. It's really good. It still tastes really good. I love it's it. It's just that that's, I think, the one thing I would change is mm -hmm. I'd probably say a little less ham or something, yeah. you know? Every all of these bagels were around like eleven bucks, give or take. Good. So we paid like thirty. I think we paid like thirty-five dollars with tax and everything. So mm -hmm. for three bagels, so do what you want with it. But it is big, definitely shareable. Let's mm -hmm. one to ten and rate this bad boy. This is really good. Mm -hmm. We're hungry. It's the first time we eat all day, so I know. I want to eat this whole thing. <laughs> um, okay. One in ten. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm. I'm ready. I needed one more bite so I can really know. Yeah, take your time. Okay. Do your thing. I'm about to go back in on it in a minute. Especially if this Doritos one is, or the next one's not that great. I'm going back to this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. One, one two, two, three, three seven and, and, and a half. half. Okay. Yeah, seven and a half. I'd give it, to me, seven and a half is standard for a very good breakfast mm -hmm. sandwich. Okay. I'd give it eight and a half. Cool. Let's do this one next. Yes. And what's this one called again? The Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Overload. Oh, Overload. That's what it is. I'm going to need you to bite this first. Oh, I got you. This has the ghost pepper cream cheese in the middle here. Ooh. We have a Flamin' Hot ba Cheetos bagel. Look at that, you guys. As the Look at that. Flamin' Hot all around it. All that's, the oh, dust. that's neat. Yeah. I just that's don't really even know neat. if it's going to work for me. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't smell hot. Not that that matters, but... No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. You go first. I'm going to let you know. Yeah. You have to give me an accurate depiction. I will give you 100% accurate. Okay. I will use all my brain power to give you accurate this time. <laughs> okay. Because sometimes, you know, I'm like, ah, it's not bad, and then you burn up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right, here we go. Okay. Mmm, that's mm. It does mm. look really good. Mm. Give me one minute. <laughs> it's eating up. Is it? It is. This thing's pretty spicy. Is it? Mm-hmm. Like are you are you hurting? No, I'm okay. Uh-huh. But it's not for uh, the faint hearted. It, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Did I say that right? <laughs> Faint of heart. Is Faint it? Of yeah, heart. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, it sounds to me that it's more than a four. On okay. Me. So, yeah. Because it took a minute for the heat to like really build up. Sure. Because the cream cheese does kind of uh, hamper it a little bit. Okay. It does, it keeps it from not going too crazy. Okay. Um, so, the Flaming Hot Cheetos, I, I'm going to say, is really what I'm tasting out of this for the most part. Mm -hmm. There is a spice that's coming in, and that must be from that ghost pepper. Mm -hmm. But. To be honest, I really think the flaming hot is what's getting the brunt of the heat. Okay. And it's definitely getting the brunt of the taste. Yeah. So on a one to ten, I'll I, I it. would say you're if you take a bite of this, yeah, yeah you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. It's probably for you. I'm gonna say it's probably like a four to five. So you're definitely gonna feel it. I can do it. But you're not gonna go crazy. It's okay. not like the Diablo burger from yeah. uh, Arby's or okay. any other stuff. So okay. I would say you're gonna prepare to, you know, be breathing a little bit for a second. Thank you. But it won't be crazy. I think I could do it. I think that's accurate. Okay. You got this. Ah! I'll take a bite with you. The fam's like, no, don't do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm. 
give it a second. It takes a minute for the heat to rise. <laughs> is it's, it rising? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. All I want to know was, was I accurate with my assessment? It didn't so take that long for the heat to rise. I felt it right away. <laughs> well, I felt it too. This is hot. <laughs> Ooh. Woo! Is it a five? At least a five. Oh, at least a five. It's at least a five. It's hot. Is it? Wow. It's good though. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Woo! It's like a... It's at least a five. Okay. But it's not... If I had the whole thing, I'd be... Messed up. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. But one bite's not bad. No, one bite's not bad. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder if it is the flaming hot cheese. I think there is ghost, for sure, the ghost pepper cream cheese, though. But, right? Has a kick. It might be the flaming hot, right? It could be. It's tough to say. The flaming hot is hot for me. Yeah, yeah. It Woo! Is. No, to me, to be, actually, to be honest, that's definitely the ghost pepper. Mm. I'm feeling the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. I don't feel the. I have a. I eat a lot of hot, um, hot Cheetos. Mm hmm. It's not usually this hot. Mm. And this definitely adds up after multiple bites. It's like a six. Yeah. You got tears coming out your eyes. Ooh, <laughs> that was hot. That was hot. Mm-hmm. Try to cool it down with this one. Yeah. But it was as good far though. as the, yeah. Yeah. So how I feel about it, mm -hmm. I did like it, but I'll be honest, um, they have a, a variety of different things. I would never get this again. Not just because of the heat. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, you know, I don't want anything that's that hot, to be honest, eating that all the time. Because mm -hmm. for me, it's not that comfortable. But... Even if it wasn't that hot, to me, the flavor isn't anything crazy. I could get that exact same thing taking some Flaming Hot Cheetos and some cream cheese. Yeah. And just dip it in and eat it. I get the sure. same exact taste. Sure. So, yeah. it's good with that said, but, you know, it's nothing special. I think, to me, this is more of a gimmicky type of, of mm -hmm. thing that they're, you know, trying to do for Instagram to pull people in and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it worked. Mm -hmm. It worked, you know? It did work. I agree with you. You know? I like the flavor, but... Yeah. This one for sure you can make at home. Yeah, you can make this um, one at home. But it was good. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> it was hot. Yeah. Okay, let's rate that on one to ten. All right, one to ten, and let's do this the heat level too. Mm. Should we do that first? You should do the heat level. Tell them what six. you think. You think it's a six? Out of ten, yeah. Okay, okay. I was close. Yeah, you were. Maybe five and a half. Close. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right, reviewing it one out of ten. Let's get it. I love when you say that. You're so cute. Let's get it? Yeah. Listen. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I thought okay. you were making fun of me. No, you're cute. You're cute. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. One, One two, two, three, three six. Seven. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Middle of the road for me. All right, let's get this next oh, one this in. This one, I already know. This is the one. I already know. <sighs> Who puts crumb cake in the middle of their bagels? I know, right? It's genius. This I just place say. does. Oh, I match it. You say you match I it? You're matching. The, yeah. <laughs> you do match. I hella match. That's funny. Very cool. All right, so let's unwrap this so we can see what it looks like. So this is a French. Oh, no, no. It's the blueberry French toast bagel, I think is what it is. Do you need um, a napkin? Because this is going to spill everywhere. Yeah, I'm going to grab napkins. Here you go. this is going to be crazy. I mean, you guys, they packed, packed this cake so, in here. So, so the top of this bagel is like powdered sugar. Yeah. I think cinnamon. Yeah, this is going to be messy. It's going to be really messy. This is not a car food. Yeah, I feel like it's contained decently at the time, but as soon as we take a bite, it's, bite, it's over. Yeah. It's over. This smells amazing, though. That's a genius idea, though, to put cake in the middle of this. Are you Ooh, ready? Smart. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. One, One two, two, three. Okay. Mm. Mm. This one's taking me a minute too. Mm-hmm. Take one bite. Mm. This is different. It's not what I mm -hmm. thought it would taste mm -hmm. like. Me too. Right? Um, mm. I thought it was going to be a little more cakey tasting. Mm -hmm. That's right, I said cakey tasting. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I don't know what they thought. Oh, okay. Is it cakey tasting? Yeah. Mm. Um, 
I'll be straight up. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of this. I know you wouldn't be. I'm not a big fan of this. Mm -hmm. um, I know you That genius idea of putting <laughs> a cake into the bagel, turns out it's too much bagel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's your, is that your problem? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. It's too much well, bagel or bread? Too much bread. Mm -hmm. And I think also, I'm not feeling the blueberry vibe. Mm -hmm with the cake mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not feeling the blueberry vibe on this in mm -hmm. particular mm -hmm. um I, I mean i'll be honest i think some people are gonna really love this mm -hmm. but this isn't this quite this isn't quite me though yeah this isn't my thing you know what yeah I mean? for sure um it, it is you know it does have some some good things in there like the frosting is tastes good well let me taste the frosting by itself the cream cheese oh the cream cheese yeah mm. <laughs> yeah cream cheese is good yeah i cream get it tastes pretty good yeah um, let me t the cake is a little bit too crumbly. It would be nice if it was <coughs> a little bit more of like a sticky cake, you know? Uh-huh. Um, right, it is super crumbly. Very crumbly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the cake is actually pretty good. Mm. The cake itself is pretty good. But it just doesn't go well to me. It doesn't go well with the blueberry um, um, bagel. Vibe. Yeah, I don't even know if I'd like it as a strawberry bagel either. You know what I mean? Maybe cinnamon or something like that. Mm-hmm. It might something like something like that, but... I'm not 100% feeling it. Yeah. So for me, um, yeah. like I'm already over it. Yeah. I like it, but I can't have too much of it. And yeah. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's too much of that, of that blueberry mm -hmm. flavor. But it's not even just that. I think from yeah. uh, the cream cheese is salty. Yeah, it is kind of salty. It's like sweet and salty. So you get this like incredible sweetness, but then salt. Mm -hmm. And I think the salt's throwing me off. Yeah, I could see like, that. Like, I almost feel like the cream cheese is too salty for me. I hear you. If it was just sweet, I feel like I could handle that. Yeah. But it's not. But the combination of it, the sweet and the salty, yeah. just doesn't work well that, together. Exactly. With yeah, and I get that. It makes that. me get tired of it. Yeah, I do have to say, like, I, I do think that, you know... It's tough, right, to get a good blend of things going on because you have mm -hmm. the bagel mixed with the cake and the cream cheese. It's hard to make it, you know, perfect. Right. Um, yeah, it's just not for me. Yeah. It's not for me, for I sure. I didn't love that one. Yeah. But I, I, with that said, I do think there's some people that are going to love that. Um, I do think some people will come in there and actually really enjoy it perfectly, mm -hmm. but it's not for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we rate it? Yeah, let's rate that one. Mm -hmm. One out of ten. Let's do oh, it. I'm still, oh, my mouth is still hot from the... Um, oh, the Cheetos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the flaming Hot one. Yeah, but it's, it's getting less. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit too, actually. Okay, rate the blueberry one. All right, I'm ready. One, one two, two, three, three four. Six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I just didn't like it. When do you like come it. back here? I, you guys, I want to come back so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they had so many different options and stuff. Yeah. Also, we did order one called the Elvis, I believe it was called. Yes. And, uh, and yeah, right? I'm trying to think what it was. Well, it, oh, it was French toast. Oh. It was French toast bagel. bagel, which I looked at it inside. It looked really good. French toast bagel. Um, it was a peanut butter cream cheese. Uh, and bacon and bacon in there and whipped yeah. cream in there too and that looked really good and yeah we were going to get that to show you guys but they yeah. didn't have it and mm -hmm. instead of like giving us another option as far as getting something else they just refunded us so yeah so we just got the three and they have like they have actual like pancakes there they have french toast so mm -hmm. it's not just a bagel place they have eggs you can get like egg, you know breakfast platters mm -hmm. so we just wanted to focus on the bagels today because that is what they're known for mm -hmm. but they have like a whole menu um so it's good i liked it i liked the variety of this i think there's something for everybody when it comes mm -hmm. to these flavors which is good mm -hmm. um yeah i think it's worth giving it a try i think so too I really think so too. I really liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. So, what about you? Would you come back? Yeah, I would. You would come back. Yeah, it was good. Nice. I'm coming back because they had a Philly cheesesteak one. <laughs> I really want to try that. Oh, nice. Yes. I really want to try it badly. Nice. Was it a bagel? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a bagel. I didn't mm -hmm. see that. I know. Oh, okay. You guys, Kristen ordered it because I was driving, so she. I need we you do to a car order. order. In the future. <laughs> and yeah. then on the way, on the way there, she's like reading me like what she's seeing on the menu right. and i'm like okay that's cool that's cool that's cool and then uh, i go to you know pick up the food i go in there and there's all these ones that she didn't mention i did not see that and i'm like why did i did you not say see these? anything about a philly cheesesteak <laughs> no that's okay i did not see anything so, and who, yeah. who knows how up to date their website is their menu and stuff like right. that and you know a lot of times too you could gloss over things mm -hmm. but for me seeing the picture is what makes it stand out you yeah know? totally so it's easy to gloss over just the words and stuff you know okay. 
Anyways, I, didn't I forgive you. For the words. It wasn't on there, but I was looking on Yelp. Oh, on Yelp. Yeah, I looked on Yelp. You didn't go on the website? No. Mm. I should have. Okay, anyways. Chris's fault. <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay, you guys, we love you so, 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 so much. Thank Absolutely. you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Catch you next time. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace out,